is upon us as we welcome you to Fox Big East College Hoops. We tip off our ninth season on the Fox Networks. Season opener for UConn. They welcome their in-state rivals from Central Connecticut State. This is the first full house here of UConn's reincarnation as a Big East program. Yeah. You, of course, know all about the first go-around in the Big East, and we are underway here in the new season. Packed house, Gamble Pavilion. UConn wins the tap, and RJ Colt, veteran point guard, into the front court for the Huskies. Well, UConn's going to show Central that size does matter, and there are only so many teams in the country that are as big as UConn, and right away, a little high-low action down low to Adama Sinogo. Uh, an NBA team disguised as UConn players. <laughs> Inbound play run to perfection. Tyrese Martin, the two-handed flush. Bucket, Donnie. Yeah, communication is so important on the wrong side. And, and Tyrese Martin is a strong guy. So when coaches say do your work early, that means get in front of him. Terrific at every position. Defensive rebounding wise, you got to make him work a little bit. Sonogo alone inside using his body and gets the roll. Being put into that one on one move. Cole fires away from the top of the key. Connecticut State that does not return a player who averaged in double figures last season. Cole in the paint keeps it himself and UConn on fire to start. Pop, it reminds me of the year going into my senior year, Danielle Marshall left for the NBA and we were a better team. Sonogo inside, and UConn is still perfect from the field. Cole was thinking about firing away again. Backdoor feed. Martin along the baseline. And a little extra. Huskies have been capitalizing off those Blue Devils turnovers. Six points off of them already. Inside for Sonogo, making eight points off of turnovers. And UConn's showing you that because they're beating you with the pass. Thought about it there, Jackson. Sonogo might have gotten hit on the right hand, so he didn't want to miss. Finishes with the left. The handle here. Whaley hasn't gotten much action inside. Finishes nicely with the left hand. It's in the clock because of their size, because they stand you up. Polly along the baseline, a cook with the putback. A self-described basketball lifer. First collegiate attempt by Samson Johnson is off the mark. Battle inside, and Polly with the putback. With Sweatman and matched up with Cole. Gaffney, an open look from the corner. Rattles it home. How about that? Sonogo knows he has a size advantage. He's hot down low unselfishly finds a teammate on the wing. Good hustle by Scantleberry, but he gives it right back. Another open look for three. Back to back. This one from R.J. Cole. Down that pole, Donnie. The only other Big East team in the top 25 preseason are these UConn Huskies. Another turnover picked up by a Cook. Good hustle to get back, but a fortuitous bounce to Gaffney. UConn doesn't need those breaks right now. Wrong way. Cook pestering defense along the baseline. Here's Martin in the paint. He'll keep it himself this time, John. But Mitchell went away from the screen, and now you got to use the screen against big defenders. Right down the lane, Martin hanging in the air. Slowing the game down around him. And what that entails is just reading the defense, understanding when to attack, when to rise up, take the bump. And there's the co-Big East Defensive Player of the Year from last season, Isaiah Whaley. I think these fans are going to be more excited about a block shot this season than they are about any other play on the floor. Great timing. It's a really good score. And they gave Baylor all they could handle even without him. I think that's a nod to the respect that he has. Look at that little floater from Jackson. Andre Jackson with the long stride. They're backing off of him. That, that is terrific basketball because there's no one in front of you. They're forcing you to shoot it. Terman, they played Baylor tougher than anyone. Man, without Gillespie. Now they have to replace Jeremiah Robinson Earl as Polly can't the three. Pretty good. Yeah, and well balanced. Yeah, obviously, they're doing it on the defensive end. Central's not helping themselves. Over dribbling a little bit, but they're sharing the basketball. Selflessness, doing it defensively, not a, not a lot of mistakes. Boy, Andre Jackson just hung in the air that time to block that attempt from Iona. Yeah, hung in the air with, without fouling. Reese Martin to get those easy buckets at the rim. 
not able to step away as blocked by a cook for Sonogo. And Martin's got some athleticism. Sonogo battling again inside. He just muscles his way up there. Arms in the air, acting like they got fouled, or they won't absorb the contact. And Sonogo's showing you he can take it. Well, he can take this one too. The basket. And that is, again, it's, it's speed, it's athleticism, it's, it's the read to know you're not going to foul a guy when you go for the steal. It's also, a, if you don't get that steal, you better not go for it. Another turnover. It's going to be Martin's turn. One-on-one -on -one with Scantle Berry. My goodness, second half. Martin spins his way, finds Sinogo, nice touch inside. Not gonna get much better than those. Little crossover by Cole into the jumper, that was smooth. Here he is off the curl, lays it off for Whaley on the baseline. Any video of that? He did not present it. <laughs> There's... He hasn't missed yet tonight, by the way. Let's look inside. A cook can't finish. Sonogo, he's been finishing all night. Such a great opportunity for RJ Cole to be here as the starting point guard as he's off and running in front of the pack. Again, hasn't missed yet tonight. Said he transferred in here because of UConn's championship DNA and called it his dream school as a cook from the corner in front of his teammates, and they love that. Potential, and that Xavier team has the potential to do some special things. They are big. They bring some guys back, some really, really good players back. I'm excited to see Xavier play this season. Zach Fremantle, first team preseason. Nice job by Scantleberry to get his hand in there. Sonogo using the left. Martin and now Whaley for the Big East game, but UConn now a Big East team playing once again in front of a packed house here at Gamble Pavilion. This seems right tonight. When you think about the team I just gave you, I... Jackson's been involved in a lot of the offense tonight. Here's a three from Martin from the corner. This game is a head coach here. Obviously, he's got special feelings coming back there. I said, what did you think about that? It's, it's a hard game. He's I'm excited to come back, but it's a hard game for game number one. Sloppy play here. Who's going to be the beneficiary? Diggins couldn't handle it. Boy, sloppy play on both ends. Mm. Mm. Nice move by Gaffney to the basket. So, walk-ons went in the game last year. There was really eh, not much fanfare. Holly with the finish. Danny Hurley calls a timeout to get his walk-ons into the game. It's Diggins to the basket, and Johnson follows it up. The start of the season with very high expectations, which I know they like around here. Gary battling to the final buzzer with Ostrowski, 99 to 48, your final score.